सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचिंग एंड एजुकेशन एज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द एपिक फॉर्म ऑफ पोएट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मॉक एपिक फॉर्म ऑफ पोएट्री यस फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू डेट दिस इज अ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ पोएट्री वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ पोएट्री यस एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन ऑफ दिस सीरीज हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ mock epic and its characteristics along with two widely popular examples of mock epic poetry yes so watch full video for clear understanding of the major forms of poetry as well as works written under these forms before that subscribe this channel if you like it for latest and upcoming free videos on ugc net english literature so let's move on mock epic yes friends mock epic is also known also called as mock heroic poem yes uh, it became very popular literary writing in the 17th century yes in fact mock epic is a satire is it is a satiric version of epic poetry it is a parodied version of epic poetry it is a parody that mocks stereotype heroes and their adventures it can be said that a foolish form of a hero is presented in such poetry yes a foolish form of hero is presented in such kind of poetry in whom his heroic qualities are exaggerated yes his heroic qualities are always exaggerated in such type of poetry sometimes it also looks absurd yes it also looks absurd due to its exaggerated form of writing its style and its theme yes friends and its presentation as well the irony exaggeration and sarcasm are used to mock the original subject yes three things are used by the uh, artists uh, literary artists these are irony exaggeration and sarcasm these are used to mock the original subject yes friends and here we have two widely famous widely popular examples of mock epic poetry the first one is uh, the rape of the lock Uh, by alexander pop and another one is the battle of the frogs by anonymous by an unknown writer so let's see them the first one is the rape of the lock by alexander pop <coughs> it is alexander pop's uh, very widely famous mock epic poetry in the history of english literature yes it is considered as one of the best examples of burlesque burlesque we can say it is a parody yes it is a brilliant satire on the aristocratic society of in england yes this poem was first published in 1712 yes it was uh, the year 1712 when it was published first in a volume named miscellaneous poems and translations by linton and it has no name of poet, poet under it it was published anonymously yes friends only two cantos composed of 334 lines were there in this publication of the poem yes in the first part in the first publication uh, in the linton's uh, miscellaneous poems and translations it was published with two cantos composed of 334 lines yes friends and uh, there was no poet's name under it after two years once again it was republished yes friends it was published again in 1714 with more appropriate form with three more cantos added in it yes three more cantos were added in it at that time uh, so it became uh, three more cantos having 794 lines <coughs> yes friends so Uh, total five cantos were published in 1714 yes friends in this edition the phrase is written there one phrase is written then the phrase is written by mr pope yes written by mr pope was the phrase written under the second edition of this poetry and it was mentioned in the revised publication of rape of the lock after 3 years the rape of the lock published again in 1717 yes friends in 1717 it was republished with the final form it was the final form in which 
Clarissa, one character is there. Clarissa's speech was added by Pope. Yes, one speech by Clarissa was added in the final form, and it and it was published in 1717. Yes, Follies of Young and Historical Battles <coughs> between the genders uh, are the chief theme of this poetry. In this poem, uh, <coughs> we notice that. it was baron the character baron who steals a lock of belinda's hair baron steals a lock of belinda's hair and the whole story starts with this yes friends and one more thing is that pop compared belinda's face to the sun as she was very beautiful and charming lady yes she was compared to the sun because of her beauty and charm the second one and the last one of our video uh, is the battle of the frogs and mice in which the epic style of homer was imitated yes uh, the epic style the writing style of homer was imitated by the unknown poet in the writing the battle of the frogs yes friends it is a comic epic considered as the parody of homer we can say it as the lighter side of homer yes we can say it as the lighter side of homer it's a parody it is sarcasm of homer we can say it is perhaps the oldest work in mock epic form yes friends it is the oldest work uh, observed in the mock epic form so total two uh, widely famous examples of uh, mock epic poetry were there it was the first one the rape of the lock by uh, alexander pop and the second one the battle of the frogs by anonymous poet so friends that's all for uh, mock epic form of poetry today uh, in english literature we have learned some important features of mock epic poetry today if you have any query or confusion related to the video and about ugc net exam you can comment below uh, this video you can also call me you can also whatsapp me at any time regarding ugc net exam queries in the next video i am going to explain about uh, significant forms of poetry like sonnet or ode ballad lyric etc so be in touch for that you have to subscribe my channel if you like my channel if you like my videos then you can subscribe it to watch latest videos on different topics on of english literature so thanks for watching have a good day and jai hind